I want to talk about what happens after you trim a Captivate video using Captivate's video mode, which I think is awesome. Take a look at the screen in front of you here. The person who developed this Captivate video trimmed the video right here. I'm going to position the playhead right about here. I'm going to play the video. Now I've muted out the audio. There is a person talking. But what I want you to do is pay attention to the mouse pointer. It's going to show up right about here to the left of my timeline and it's going to move up and to the left making a selection here on the toolbar. So check out the speed of the mouse. And there it goes. Very slow. Not at all what the author had in mind. So I'll pause the video and I'll drag the playhead back to the left here. So right about here is where the mouse starts to make that motion and it's very slow. Remember the video got trimmed by the Captivate developer here. Several seconds were removed from the video. What happens when you trim these videos, oftentimes the mouse pointer from that position on, the very first occurrence of the mouse point slows down. I don't know why that happens, but I'm going to show you how to fix it. First, you go to the Edit menu in Captivate, and you choose Edit Mouse Points. There's a mouse point here to the right of the first trim section. So this is the mouse point I'm going to go after. I'm going to select it. And I'm going to bring up Captivate's Properties panel through the Window menu. To fix the problem, all I have to do is remove the check mark from Smoothen Mouse Path, which I'll do. So I'm going to take the playhead to the left a little bit, and I'll play again. Watch the speed. Now a couple of points. That has taken care of the slow mouse, but in my opinion, the person who recorded this video moved their mouse just way too fast from point A to point B. You see that? Which brings up a great example of when you record your videos in Captivate using video demo mode, you do want to basically use a nice and easy approach. Take your time. Don't go too fast or too slow as you move your mouse from point A to point B like I'm doing right now. Point A to B, B to A. Be deliberate. Take a curved approach. Don't race about because what you do in your lesson affects the final video when you play it back and you make this thing more difficult to edit and then publish.